Hey, what is up guys? It's Stan here back with another video. So in this one, I wanna talk about my experiences and what I think is the fastest CF Express card reader and memory card that you can buy for your Canon R5 to be able to shoot in all video recording modes, including 8K RAW. So a couple weeks ago, I made a video about the 256 Pro Grey Gold card that I had bought for my EOS R5 camera here. And long story short, basically, uh, it could not sustain the write speed, so I was having issues with shooting 8K RAW. Uh, the solution was to basically buy either a larger Pro Grey card or something completely different, such as the Pro Grey Cobalt card. Uh, if you want to see the whole video, I'll make sure to link in the description down below. Now. Uh, fast forward a little bit, I had actually picked up the ProGrade Cobalt card, the 325 card I've got right here. And I want to talk about my experiences with the card as well as this ProGrade card reader I've got here as well. Uh, I think this combo is actually the fastest uh, card reader and memory card, CF Express memory card that you can buy at the moment. So let's talk about the specs of the Cobalt card. So it comes in two capacities, either 325 gigs or 650 gigs, and both versions have a maximum read speed of 1700 megabytes per second and a maximum write speed of 1500 megabytes per second with a sustained minimum write speed of 1400 megabytes per second. The fastest codec on the R5 is the 8K RAW, which comes in at 2600 megabits per second, or roughly 325 megabytes per second. Now, 325 megabytes versus 1400 megabytes, right? Uh, clearly, you're gonna have a lot of headroom with this memory card. And so the question is, does this memory card actually perform close to the rated uh, specs of this card. I'm happy to say that basically I've had no issues with this memory card with the R5. All the video modes work and all the photo modes work and it's it's basically flawless. Uh, now that doesn't actually sh give you an idea of what the actual maximum of the, of the card is. And what you've probably noticed now is behind me I've got AJA system test light here running reading and writing tests. Uh, it, you can see here that the test is basically flat out maxed at about 950 megabytes per second, both read and write. So what that tells me is this is probably a card reader limitation more than the actual memory card. In terms of memory card readers, on the other, other hand, this memory card reader is rated for USB 3.1 Gen 2, which has the theoretical limit of 10 gigabits per second. So Clearly, uh, this memory card reader is right at or about what the actual rated speeds are. There aren't really any faster card readers than this. Uh, if you want to stick with USB, you've basically got to go to USB 3.2 Gen 2 for 20 gigabits per second, and there aren't any card readers supporting that at the moment. The other option is to go to Thunderbolt 3, which has a theoretical higher limit, but then they're kind of expensive and kind of hard to find. So basically, uh, what I'm saying is, if you want to use USB Type-C, this is probably the way to go. Now, one thing to note is that, uh, as you saw, that this card was reading and writing in the background, and these cards do get blistering hot. Uh, this is not unique to this ProGrade card. Basically, all CF Express cards get very hot under read it, strenuous read and write cycles, and basically reading and writing at 900 megabytes per second cons consistently uh, non-stop you it should get very hot and you can see here this has got a temperature of 149 degrees Fahrenheit so be careful when you're manhandling these especially if you're popping it out of your camera or out of your card reader uh, it does get pretty hot and it's not a surprise if this memory card really gets this hot it's not a surprise that uh, with the battery and with the memory card all in this area that this camera could potentially overheat because of either the battery heating up or the memory card heating up. So there's that. The last thing to consider why you might actually wanna buy this card over the competitors is the price point. I know the manufacturer lists this MSRP at about 550 gigabytes for the 325 gig version. 
and B&H also lists this but for about 550 but on Amazon uh, this card is available for about 420 gig dollars give or take uh, at 420 for 325 gigs the price per gigabyte is almost on par with the 256 gold card which you know it's it, it's it's about like three something for uh, 256 so the price per gigabyte is actually pretty good and in fact it's going to be cheaper than the sony tough cards uh, so you know for the price for the performance i really do think this is probably one of the best cards you can pick up right now especially at that price point anyway that was just a quick look at the pro grade cobalt 325 gigabyte card i'll make sure to link everything in the description down below for your convenience and if you learned something if you can hit that like button on your way out that'd be great and if you want to see more tech videos I'll see you guys in the next one.